My name is Whitney Lewis Smith and I'm a photographic artist. Uh, I do some commercial work, I teach college, and the majority of my practice is uh, my own studio work that I sell through my gallery here in Ottawa and in New York City. I grew up in Chelsea uh, in the Gatineau Park. I, my backyard was the woods and I was an only child so I spent a lot of time exploring, playing in the mud, catching frogs. And so I really developed a love for animals and the environment as a, as a child. The underwater world became a big part of what I did, teaching diving, and I was living on the west coast doing that. So, um, no, I, I would say that it's just inherently part of me, and it's always been something that's been at the forefront of, of what I want to do in my life. The ideas that I deal with in my work are mostly talking about consumerism, uh, the environment, how we make use of uh, the land, the earth, and how we overuse. So a lot of the more current pieces that I've done just show sort of, um, you know, an abundance but in excess to the point where it's a bit grotesque. And I do want people to get a sense of, um, you know, that, that we take advantage, that we overuse, that we exploit, and that it's not necessary and we're using something so, so beautiful in such an ugly way. I just sort of created a melting pot of old methods and new technology and I melted them together into something that I hadn't seen before, something that's my own. And despite the methods being traditional, I think adding a contemporary aspect into the ideas behind the work is, um, is unusual when you're dealing with alternative process photography. So I can't use living animals, I can't use anything that moves. Um, it all has to be built and set up and very still. So taxidermy came into play because obviously the environmental issues, animals, all of that is uh, very important to me, something that I want to talk about. And uh, it, it was a way for me to get my ideas across. I refuse to use new taxidermy. If I do, it's from an animal that has died of natural causes or uh, was, never, was never born. I, I'm working with a fawn right now that was a stillborn fawn. And uh, so I purchased that from a woman who got it from a deer farmer. And they every year have a few stillborn animals and instead of throwing them away, they end up with me. I don't even have to leave my living room to, to photograph these things. I could order them right to my door if I want. So that also talks about consumerism and the way the world is going. And I, I do feel like the things that exist in my images won't exist in another hundred years. We're struggling with taking responsibility for the environment and the older generations are saying, well, it's the responsibility of the younger folks to manage this and we're going like, really? This is all on our shoulders so we have to figure out a new way to do everything. And a lot of us are sort of turning a blind eye and maybe not participating in an active way the way we should be. You know, whether it's not buying plastic or um, being conscious of the way we deal with garbage and what we purchase and how we use water and all of those things. We all need to make a major change and uh, it's hard. It's really hard, but hopefully we can do it. I kind of feel like maybe we'll just wait until things start really falling apart. But it's unfortunate. I would really hope that we can get our asses together and figure it out before then.